Hi, this is ZachoX, and tonight I'm just going to go over how to add references and components to your standard EXE uh, program that we're going to start with right here. So, go to open. I'm just going to maximize that real quick. And then we go to um, what the components, let me kind of explain that real quick. Components are uh, tools that you're going to be adding over here, basically controls that you don't normally have. Um, the one we don't have right now is the windsock control. So we're going to add that real quick so I can kind of show. Um, the way you do this is you go to, try to remember here, project components. You could also press control T on your keyboard. And the one we're looking for, there's a whole bunch here that we don't have, and is when sock I had to remember for a second there right here this one go ahead and hit click that um, if you had some other ones you could upload here I'm on a, I don't really mess with these um, I'm sure you could figure out something with that but usually you're just going to pick within this vicinity um, it tells us where it's located got it clicked and I hit apply now when you do this um, you'll have the windsock control down here and now it's a new control that you can add The only problem with this is, is when you do that, go to view code, you should have a note. Windsock control 6.0 component. Put something like this form uses the Microsoft Windsock control component 6.0. Yeah. Um, that way, if you do have an error, so if you were to pass this on to somebody else to work on to it or anything, they would understand that error more, saying, hey, there was a control missing. Um, so it's a good idea to have that. Now, the other way is to go to reference. Uh, references, you aren't going to add the control, but instead you're going to add basically like a library in the background. Um, so we go to references, and I'll show you how this really works. Let me just go down a little bit here. And if we're going to work for, with some databases pretty soon, so go in here and add these real quick. Let's add this one. I'm trying to remember the ones that I used to do here. Should be ADO. This thing does not want to move. Right, here we go. And this one. Hit OK. Now when you go to view code, and we'll click on this combo box and bring down the um, form. OK. Hit enter here. All right, now dim um, calendar as calendar, or excuse me, it's catalog. I was trying to remember. Usually I put cat in front because it'll remind me it's a catalog. Object is catalog. Okay. Um, with this, just to show that if you don't add those um, references, um, one of them is for this catalog right here. So what would happen is if I removed them, when I hit space right here, I wouldn't see it in this list. Um, a lot of these are from the references that I added um, and then they're just with Invisible Basics for the other ones so they wouldn't be here in this list also when you add components you add also within this list that's where you saw Winsock or when you add controls on your form um, so if we're going to be working with databases this is kind of how we're going to start out and I would show you um, some more but for now this is what this is um, also, you would have to put a note again above here. Please note that you're using what references. Um, that's going to do it for now and until my next video. But this just shows you how to add the references, the components. Um, when you move on to do stuff that maybe you want to add in your own controls or someone else's, then now you should know how to do that. Um, so thank you for now, and I'll see you soon.